Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my hotel room, my motel room. I have a coffee maker. I'm doing well. I'm on a road trip. I'm going to get an assessment done on my pain level. So I'm sitting here in this hotel room. I get in here, I put coffee on. Decaf. <laughs> What is the point of having a coffee if you have to have decaffeinated coffee? I don't get it. Anyways, I get to this hotel. I'm not on the grounds, but just drove in the driveway and I already sensed I'm on native land. So I've been pretty weirded out here. I don't do well in hotels. I like. I did a lot of traveling in my lifetime, but I can tell you that I do not enjoy them anymore because I used to own one, like a small mom and pop operation without the pop. <laughs> Anyways, I know what goes on in them and I'm not comfortable here at all. I don't trust, uh, number one, I don't trust a hotel that doesn't have a deadbolt. And I've been watching these shadows go back and forth in front of my window. And I'm like, just chill, chill. Okay. Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see know or hear for their higher good spirit? And oh yeah, Sag, if I don't upload your video... No, it's because my laptop is going to crap out. Look what I did. I had some dinner and they give me this. This is not a beer. It's a freaking ginger ale in a beer bottle. With You can't even drink it. It's got so much ginger in it I thought I would hurl. But anyway, I, <laughs> I spilt it on my laptop. So I've done my best to clean it up, but I don't know what's going to happen. What about Sag? Oh, I'm nervous, guys. I have my pendulum here, guys. I asked my spirit guides if it was safe in this room. And spirit says yes. I asked is it safe in other rooms and no <laughs> that would be a hell to the no okay i feel that i'm I, i'm a super sensitive and i know when spirits are around and some of them are not always good and in this place they're not all good Okay, Spirit, what about Sagittarius, please? What does Saggy need to see nor hear? Hmm. Choose your battles. Dudes, I'm weirded out. Oh my god, I don't know if I can do this. Somebody's moving on. Someone is feeling helpless and hopeless. It's your person, past person. This is their energy. When I get this card, I know it's their... Look, two eights here, guys. What about Sag? Yeah, it's... Simply love and mastering emotions. Oh my goodness. What's this person going through healing so that they can take the lead? This person is really going through something heavy, guys. I just got to say. It's not your energy. What's this person going through? Well, they're observing you, Sag. It's your observer. <laughs> Ooh. 
trying to open up their third eye. It's your person. I don't know why I was... Now, honestly, Sag, I'm not doing this intentionally. Like, the energy is here, guys, and that's what the energy is. It is not you. It is this person, Sag. So, let's figure out what's going on with this person, Spirit. What do you want to tell Sag about this person, this situation? You know, guys, I'm almost to the point of, like, I'm so nervous, I'm sweating. I know darn well that, and, and I'm in a 68-degree air-conditioned room. It's this person. Oh, short journey. What's going on with this person? Why is, uh, I don't know. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Ooh, taking the lead. Something's going on. I don't know if this is for you or somebody's bull energy. It says choose your battles at the bottom. So something's going on. A goal-oriented person. October? Oh. Since you guys have moved on, this person has been helpless and hopeless and hoping that you will simply love. They're trying to master their emotions, their healing, trying to take leadership. They're still watching you. Now this person, don't back down from opposition show strength and fortitude maybe the, the, you could have gone through some sort of separation or something in October or the October is significant because it's come out for you before now a short journey and a goal oriented person what is what are you trying to tell me spirit about this person just lay it out there you know I'm not good at guessing games spirit What's going on with this person that you want to let Sag know about? I don't do well with guessing games. Romance is in the air, that's why. Mm. What's going on? Who's romancing who here? Tell me about this person, spirit. You know, I'm really getting sick of this guessing game energy, spirit. So be precise if you certainly can be. You know, I've been doing reads every single day for these people. And spirit, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the nail on the head here. Depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This is this person trying to keep their life in balance. It's all about this person. I ask for Sag. And then this person's energy keeps coming up because they're observing you. And I'm picking up on their energy because they are the ones that are being persistent here. They're tr trying to keep their life in balance. They're not doing well. Romance is in the air. They're probably like, I don't know, trying to master their emotions, healing, trying to take leadership, or waiting for you to take the lead. That's what I'm hearing too. Yeah, because they didn't, it's the wish hasn't been granted. They feel like their wish has not been granted. It's a broken wish. Well, and it might involve the month of April. So we have April here and October here. Wait a sec. April. 
May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months. So something about April is important and so is October. May, June, July. Three months, three months ago would have been April and they just figured out that probably they weren't going to get their wish fulfilled. I don't know. I'm telling you this person's energy start to really mess with me. I don't, I mean, I don't mind reading the cards and the energy, but it's so consistent, man. Spirit, just put it out there. No guessing games, short and sweet. What's going on with this person? And why is it so important to Saj? You know, I'm hearing right now, Spirit is saying that in the month of April, this person realized they weren't getting their wish. Or if they went to a third party in the month of April, they figured out this is not my person. Or I can't do this or something, I don't know. They may want to come and see you, Sag. And it's like they're ready for a battle. And Spirit is saying, choose your battles. They may want to come and be bullish and, and uh, declare something to Sag. <laughs> yep, looking back. Waiting for their ships to come in. Thinking, thinking about justice here. How unfair things were. And they can't stop thinking about the Empress. They are in love. And they want a passionate new beginning. They want to hopefully hear some good news. They've done the inner work. And they know they want commitment and a new beginning. And they are going to make an offer. Phew. This is the person who is juggling. I asked for explicit. Spirit gave explicit. Explicit. Gonna have to do these guys. Um, I think Spirit knows I'm a little fed up with this story. I don't mind reading the cards, but it's like, nail it, spirit, just nail it here. What's this person doing? Waiting, looking back, at how unjust they were, making a decision to make things fair and balanced. You deserve love, Sag, you're lovable. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, at least that's what they're hoping. An engagement. They want to ascend to a higher level of commitment. This could be the one. Romantic feelings. Romance is in the air. That's what it said. Somebody wants to make the effort. Mm -hmm. Yep, they do. I asked for explicit. Oh, there's a, you're in separation. And this new love is here. And they want to rekindle this love. This is true love. They want to go away with you on a short trip. Because they're calling you in or you're calling them in. Calling in your soul mate. Ugh. It is your soulmate. I can't make it up. And let your friends help you. Playfulness. Um, that's why the Observer card is here. I asked for short and sweet. And Spirit delivered short and sweet. 
Sadji, this person, is there something you can tell Sadge? Um, can you give, can you give Sadge a time frame or something to go on here, Spirit? A chain of events that will affect your life. Yeah, well, I'd say Sag is already, yeah. It's to do with a fair man. Dealings or a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. Or just any man. Oh. Yeah, beware of self-delusion. Because somebody's trying to put a wedge in between you. So I know that's the karmic energy. That's why I think spirit is so adamant about uh, revealing this is for your protection from this karmic energy. And this karmic is the one who put a wedge in between you. And it very well could be darned well that the observer is the karmic as well as this person time frame is there a time frame when is this person coming in can you tell me anything about when this person is coming in spirit can you tell me a time frame or a clue as to when Sag can expect this person. Of course, it'll be different for everybody. And hmm. Is there a clue as to when, Spirit? Any clue as to when? when any clue as to when this person is gonna try and come in to Sag hmm. they're not coming in they're sending someone else <laughs> Sag ah. Ah. I don't know there's a handshake, a meeting with a stranger here. Oh my God. Someone's working against you behind your back as a rat. It's someone you don't know. Well, some of you don't know this karmic. What the fuck is this? Sag. Who's working behind, or maybe someone's working behind this person's back. Someone's making some sort of handshake deal. A stranger. Hmm. Sag, what's going on? You know, <clears throat> spiritual developments, enlightenments, awareness, and understanding. Spirit's not saying that's why he's bringing... What? Temptation will test you. Deep friendships with someone of the same sex. So be careful of what you tell your friends. There's a change for the better coming in. This person has got somebody working against them. If it, I don't see it as... It could be you, Saj. But don't fool yourself about this male. Masculine energy. It's going to set off a chain of events. Well, it probably already did. But it says that someone is working against you behind your back. A meeting with a stranger could be important. It'll set off a chain of events 
that change your life and someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want don't delude yourself be on the alert what the hell is this rat for a dealings with a stranger will set off a chain of events trying to prevent you from getting what you want so don't delude yourself now this could be around that person that's what's going on in their life right now because I see a lot of that energy this person has someone working against them behind their back someone's making a handshake deal with a stranger that sets off a chain of events that is trying to put a wedge in hmm oh oh my god so this person okay your person past person all right probably met this karmic energy through a friend or made some kind of deal they pretended to be this person's friend but your person didn't know who they were dealing with they thought that they could trust this friend but they couldn't trust this friend this friend of theirs was working behind their back and it if like for example if your past person met the karmic it was through this friend but the friend wasn't a real friend they were a rat and they were doing it deliberately to put a wedge in between you and the person that you're we're dealing with temptation tested them and something happened something happened I can tell you that this past person when you uh, when they you went out of their life they were feeling helpless and hopeless they tried to uh, master their emotions this person is full of shit that's what they are they're full of shit now I don't mean no disrespect spirit but this person has got all the excuses under the sun for what they do, why they do it, how they do it. Poor me, if I ever heard of an energy of a poor me, it is this person's spirit. So tell me the real deal here about this individual. It's like they're in blame mode. I thought it was a friend. Do, does this person not think for themselves? Do they not have a brain that they can actually know when they're being tempted? Uh, know when they're dealing with someone who is like... I could see if they're really young, you know, like a teenager. But if they're older, what the... F eh, I don't buy it. Picking up like such immaturity, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I can tell you wherever they invested, they're walking away from it. They made the decision to go to this person because they thought they were going to get their ten of cups. Well, they're walking away. It's like it, they deluded themselves. Spirit is saying, be careful of self-delusion. And here is the delusional card. That's delusion. They fooled themselves. I don't know what's wrong with your person. Like, here you are, single, abundant, you know, well, they want to offer stability. They're listening to their intuition. Their uh, third eye chakra was closed before, and now they're missing you and want to reunite. And they're, they're wounded. So they're coming in wounded. I need more coffee, real coffee. This person's energy, Sag, is that they met this karmic through a so-called friend who was deliberately setting this person up, knew they were going to get deceived. It was a trap. And your person fell into it. It was a plan to work against your person. <laughs> they deluded themselves. Maybe your person is like immature. I don't know. Not thinking that people are bad or naive or something. But I don't like the excuses that they give. Like at some point in your life you have to like you know, own up to your own shit, your own choices, your own decisions, and stop like, well, Mikey told me to. I'm just saying Mikey as an example. You know, like the kid who eats the cereal, will give it to Mikey, he'll eat anything. Well, this person, I give it to so-and-so, they'll believe anything. That's what I'm hearing. And this room is creeping me out. I'm looking at the window. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye open. Your person, that's what I'm hearing. It was almost like, you know how buds sit down, they talk, I'll go for this girl or go, you know. That's what it was. It was a trap. They were doing it deliberately to screw your person up. That's what they were doing. And I kind of feel bad for them. But at some point, they got to learn to listen to their own selves, right? No. It'll be your choice, Sag. I can't get a time frame here. But I know it's soon to be this damned intrusive every single day take care Saj and best of luck